couple other people send me this link to his Facebook page. There's a gentleman named Mark McCall. He had just buried his five-year-old son, and I, uh... He wrote a poem that he turned into a song, and he said at the beginning of it, he said, I'm not a singer, I'm not a songwriter, but I felt like this is what I needed to do. And at the end of this eight-minute video, he said, if anybody out there can help me turn this into a song and make it something that people will listen to, help me. By the time I got to the house after dropping my kids off at school, I was in tears. I was bawling my eyes out. I didn't know this guy. I didn't know who he was. But I figured since six people had sent me this link to this Facebook page, it was important for me to do this. I worked on this song for about three nights in a row, up to about 4 a.m. After I finished it, I, I, I called my brother. I said, do you know the guy? He said, no. I said, can you find his phone number? He said, yeah. My brother called the guy up. It turns out the guy lives eight miles from my house. I called him up on a Thursday night. I said, hey, I did what you asked me to. Do you mind if I come by and play something for you? He said, you want to come by the house? I was like, absolutely. He didn't know me from Adam. I found out that this family was forced to make their five-year-old son go through chemotherapy at five years old, knowing that it destroyed not only the cancer cells, but everything else in his body. In the state of North Carolina, if, if you are a parent that refuses chemo below the age of 16, they could come in and take your, your kid from you. And that's what they're wanting to fight with this song right here. I don't know if the laws are the same here in Ohio, but I hope not. One of the things he said to me that night, he said, he said Jason, he said, I still wake up at 2 a.m. every night hearing those hospital beeps. The machines beeping, telling me that it's time to replace the bag for his chemo. And I couldn't believe that. I, 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 I'm glad that I've never known what he had to go through. But ladies and gentlemen, this is a song that I wrote with my friend, my new friend, Mark McCall, out of Wake Forest, North Carolina. His son was named Mickey McCall. M-A-C-H-O-L-L -L. You can find out more about both of them on Facebook Here's a song called 2 AM Well it's 2 AM There's that sound again Keeping me up at night Have to see if he's alright The moment he was born Right then and there I swore not to take him from all harm as I held him in my arms. Some nights he would test my patience to the end. Then I'd see the him. Son, it's you and But it's you and There's that sound again Keeping me up at night Now nothing is And I Bad 
hurts the pulse of me in bed Is he playing with his toys? Is he already tucked in? Wish I could hear him laughing Saying, Daddy, here I am So I can smile at him and say The sun is too late